My name is Gary Aldrich. I'm a member of the board of directors of the uh, uh, foundation that supports the Flight Test Center Museum at Edwards. We raise the money to do things like uh, refurbish the airplanes and uh, you know uh, build buildings and things for the Air Force. I've been a wing nut since I was you know this high. I'm a retired Air Force Lieutenant Colonel. I worked in flight test at Edwards. I still am a, on the staff at the Air Force Test Pilot School. So. Uh, uh, I'm still involved in the Edwards community, so I really just wanted to support, uh, you know, keeping the airplanes accessible to the public. You know, such an iconic aircraft, it's recognized the world around. Is there anything else that's currently comparable to this? I'd like to think so, but I really don't know. I mean, they don't, they're not going to tell me, an old retired guy from the Air Force, but, uh, you know, the, the mission that this airplane does is, is now being done by, you know, satellites and things like that. And it's a very, very expensive system to operate. You may have heard me tell this other person that, you know, it, take, it took a minimum of three refueling tankers to keep one of these things in fuel while it did its mission. Makes it an extremely expensive way to collect uh, uh, intelligence data. So the, one of the reasons for retirement is obsolescence with, you got newer technology, yeah. GPS. True. I mean, they're taking pictures from space these days that probably rival what we can get from this one, you know, when it was, uh, it was the high-tech bird. Uh,